I'm in Tortuguero National Park in Costa Rica at this beautiful lodge in the rainforest where I'll be staying for two nights. And it's beautiful here. There's nature all around us, monkeys, and there's all sorts of animals. It's so cool. To get here, you have to take a boat or a plane. And I took a boat and our guide pointed out a bunch of different animals here on the way. And it was just such a beautiful boat ride. so cool to be here. I'm going to walk around and see what wildlife I can see. What is that? I hear monkeys and I'm trying to find them. Look at how cute these rooms are. I kind of wish I got one of these. I went for the cheapest one, but I think if you had the money, I would go for one of these really cool lodges. You're just here in the forest. Oh, it's going under. Okay, now I'm seeing crabs everywhere. <laughs> the best time to find all the wildlife right here. Okay, the morning. the morning. Okay. It's very good. And at night, maybe? Actually, like... the night is a little bit more complicated. Because, oh, okay. You know, it's a deep forest and it's complicated to yeah. recognize the things when it's pretty dark. You know? Right, okay, so morning's the, morning, the best. 5.30 or something. I okay. Mean, you got to, you know, hear the wildlife. Perfect. And then I'm doing the sea turtles tonight. It's very good. It's, a big, it's, it's the best time to find Yay. turtles. <laughs> Something that is like the, I mean, Tor Tortuguero is the main spot in the world from green turtle landing. Every year we have right here around 22,000 turtles coming to land on the beach right here. That's amazing. And between uh, the end of July, July to the end of October mm -hmm. is the highest peak of the turtle season. So Perfect. Sure. This place is amazing. Yes, I yes. already can tell. You it's... know, it's a completely other kind of life. Yeah. Well, it's thank you. Is a problem. Yeah, I just, Stay yeah, care. you saw me do that. This what was the... your name? Jorge. Jamie, nice to meet nice you. To... Tomorrow, I'm going to get up early before the tour and see if I can see some more monkeys. And tonight, I'm going to be going out and seeing some sea turtles. I'm all ready for the sea turtles excursion, all in dark because they told us to all wear black and um, these boots for mud. And unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to film because they're being very strict for the protection of the sea turtles, which I understand. So, but I will tell you all about it afterwards. So last night I went on a turtle excursion. Thank you. I'll put on my life jacket. <laughs> no, not necessary. able to see one green sea turtle, a female, give birth, which was absolutely amazing. And we were able to see 
a couple different stages of the birth. So we saw her laying the eggs and then digging a hole and then camouflaging where she hid the eggs. And it was very cool. And then she went back to the water. And it, she was just such a powerful, majestic being. It was amazing to witness. And I'm so lucky that we actually got to see a turtle because a lot of groups don't. It just depends on the night. So you always have to just go knowing that. After the tour, we went to the only bar in the village and got a drink to celebrate. And it's kind of cool because there are a lot of locals that go there and a lot of the tour guides will go there after work. This morning I woke up to the sounds of howler monkeys, which was so peaceful and so cool. And about 6 a.m. hopped on the boat with Kevin, our guide, who took us around the canals and showed us some more wildlife. Back at the lodge, I finally got my monkey moment. Now I'm gonna head to the village and explore some more. Hola. Hola. Gracias, bien, y tú? Pura vida. I'm pura vida. such a cute town and the locals are super friendly.
I woke up bright and early for the final day of adventure. We're thrilled to see dolphins swim alongside our boat. You have people on the Pacific side make tour to see dolphins and see nothing and we are here looking for any types of wildlife and we get to see dolphins. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Very good. I really enjoyed my stay here. I would definitely recommend it to any wildlife lovers out there. I booked with a tour company called Jungle Tom Safaris and they were great. They were organized and affordable. Next I'll be going back to San Jose and then from there doing some day trips around Costa Rica. So be sure to subscribe and follow along and I'll see you in the next one.